All right, guys. So welcome to um the nineteen of this YouTube mentorship. That's been a long ride, right? So I've been on for the last eighteen days, and if you have not watched the previous video, you have to go through those videos so that you can get a better feel for what you are doing. All right. So come watch the previous videos from the one up to on to this day. All right. So today we are going to go very straight to the point and. Um, is something that we really, really bless, right? So today we're talking about um the New York kill zone and session. So the previous call we talked about and the New York um the London session we talked about the best to trade. We defined um the London session, we talked about everything that pertains to the London session, all right. So in this call, we're going to be talking about the New York session, right? So we're going to be telling you guys. What the New York kill zone is the best to be trading during the New York kill zone. The um, what you should be looking at for in the New York session. So I'm combining it with kill zone and session because the kill zone and session overlap, right? So kill zone actually overlap with um, session. So I'm kind of treating them together, right? So it helps you to understand what you should be doing. All right. So very very important to understand this. Now let us talk about um, the New York kill zone, right? So you know. We have two major sessions in the financial markets, right? Um, for me personally, I don't trade Asia session. I don't trade in Asia. I only trade London and New York. So that's a, those are the times in which we see a lot of volatility. And you know, based on where I stay in Nigeria, um, the Asian session is trading the night. So I'm not awake in the night to trade. So I don't trade during the um the night period. So I only talk focus on the London and the New York, right? So. I want you guys to understand that, all right? So, I'd like you guys to understand that. So, um, let's go into the business of the day, all right? But before we do that, I would like to show you guys something very important, um, very very important, something that you need to see, right, before we continue this call. I just like you guys to quickly uh, see it, all right? So, this is it. Um, let me quickly show you guys. Uh, show you guys. All right, so this is it. So we are having um, a special event. So this is my Telegram community. So I have a special event on, um, I have a special event coming up on the um, 10th to 12th of November. All right, but before that, let's talk about this. So um, people have been meeting me that they're having issues with um, passing profit challenges. And that is why we actually brought out this, right? So this is the it. So it's called the profit blueprint, right? So it's actually um, something that can really help you to pass your profit account. In the last year, we had a special training for passing profit challenges, and it was um, $25,000 for 30 weeks, right? But this year, due to my activities, I don't have the time to start having a special class for that, right? So I thought it was that we should just have um, this um, program just together, all right? So just have to, I want to give you guys access to the teaching of last year, the three weeks training, you have access to it, and then I'm making a special teaching on how to pass your profit challenges, how to approach your profit challenges, how to scale your accounts, all the photos from store, right? And that course will be launched on the 1st of November. So this is the details. I was talking about it. It's ahead last year, to $25,000 last year, and we launched it on the 1st of November this year. And um, we are giving a pre launch price of $5,000, right? The last year's training was $25,000, but due to the fact that I will not be actively involved this year. So I was giving that the recording, and I'll be giving you guys um, lectures for this year how I approach profits, what to do, how to manage your risk, the best to trade, the setups to look out for, and all of these forms of rights. So everything I know about profit and putting it together in this teaching, the launch date is on the 1st of November and it will be sold for $10,000. Right? So you have access to the last day training plus this year's training. Right? But if you get it at the pre launch price, which is before the 1st of November, you get that $5,000. Right? So the link to get um, the link to um, get this course will be in the um, description. Right? So it's just very easy. Just you can do bank transfer to this seller platform. Just click the link and you can get the five the Profit blueprint, right? It's just the profit blueprint, how to pass profit ranges, how to scale your accounts, and all of this fun stuff, right? So I think that is done. Um, so we can go over to 
the business of the day, right? So you're going to the business of the day, which is um, the New York kill zone, right? So the New York kill zone refers to a time window or a time of or a window of opportunity where um, you see certain or kind of volatility or certain things, right? So now, like the previous call, I told you guys that there are pairs you should look at for during the London session or uh, the London kill zone, right? But for the New York period, yeah, the pairs you look at for are just simple. Look at for USD pairs, right? Any pair that has USD, and then also look at for indices, right? So, you know, indices I'm referring to the NASDAQ. I know you should know them already the NASDAQ, US 30. So, these are the pairs that you in New York, NASDAQ, US 30, SP 500. These are the three pairs you look at for during the New York session. So, look at USD pairs and the indices right these are the pairs you trade during the new york kill zone and the new york session right so for the usd pairs we're referring to pairs you know already know them already you know the pairs i'm talking about you know, you know usd pairs now you know euro dollar you have euro usd you have a usd chef you, know, you have a usd card you know we have all those pairs all those pairs are usd 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 right now i have on the uh gbp usd we have USD, uh, you know, these are all the pairs that we trade during the New York session. So any pair that has USD attached to it is it, okay for the New York session, right? This is why I love EU and G. That is why if you if you check, I trade EU and G a lot, especially EU, because EU can be traded during the New York session. The GDP USD can also be traded during the London, so they can be traded in both sessions. And that's why I also like USD check. US share from the London and the New York session. It's always always moving. So USD is always moving. It moves in the London, it moves in the New York. Right? USD card is best for New York because both card and USD, the banks open by the New York session. So USD card is best for only New York. It's not good for London session. Right? So always focus on the pairs that have volatility because the banks of the United States are open there. So what are you trading when the banks are open? You don't want to take any trade when the bank is not open, right? Because you also have volatility there. So these are the pairs you focused on in the New York session, right? So if you trade EU, you're very lucky. That's why I like EU a lot. So if you're a new trader, you're just coming into the trading space or you're trying to um, transition into currency pairs. The best thing I can teach you or the best thing I can tell you is that you should trade EU and G because EU can be used in the London and EU can be used in the New York, right? So both sessions work for you. Why the indices are best for only New York? I see some people always trading the indices during London. I don't know what they're looking for. You are trading um, NASDAQ in the London session or in the Asian session. You are just setting yourself up for failure. Right? Trade the market when that market is moving, not when the market is not moving. How are you going to be trading the US that is during London session or during Asia? How do you think that you will make most of it? So these are the pairs you focus on. You focus on EU, EUG, all these pairs that have USD. It could be NZUS, it could be AUS, the other space have US they attached to them. Those are the pairs you trade during the New York session, right? So now when, when is the New York kill zone? So New York kill zone is between 7 to 10 o'clock New York time, right? So between 7 to 10 o'clock New York time. So New 7 to 10. 7 to 10. So this is the time we trade, we trade on this pair, 7 to 10. And then for uh, the Nigerian time is um, obvious, you know, it's 12 to 3. Uh, 12 to 3. Nigerian time, right? I was giving that the conversion, so you can count. But for me, my trading view is calibrated as New York. So you just simply come here, come to this point here, click on time zone, and set as New York. So your trading view can be at New York. So it can be easy for you to, so you don't have to be converting, you're just using the New York time, right? So this is the time window. The difference between five, um, Nigeria and New York is five hours currently, but from November, it's four hours or then about two. And then there's going to be, um, Six hours from November, I think. Six hours. Okay, five hours from November. Right. It usually changes. I was called daylight seven time. From November around 20 something, um, the time will be changing. For now, currency, so speaking now, the time is five hours different. But I think from November, it will go back to being four hours. Or I would think six hours. I'm not really sure now. Because when, um, from November, we will be having um, the New York session by two o'clock. I'll be having the um, London by nine o'clock. So it really changes from November and from November upwards to February. So between November and February, we really see a kind of difference in the time window.
right? So that being said, we can go into the business of the day. So now this is the time when you look at for opportunities on this page, right? Look at opportunities between seven to ten. Um, this is so now for the indices. We already know the time. So you look at for opportunities on indices from the um two thirty. So two thirty New York. Um, sorry. Um, from 8.30, so 9.30 New York time, so you look for opportunities on indices, so 9.30, so you look for opportunities on indices, right? It's very, very important, so you have to know this. That's what we have in the New York Stock Exchange, open, right? So New York, 9.30 uh, a.m. New York time, which is about 2.30, right? So that is um, this time for indices, so you look for opportunities from 2.30 in Nigerian time. So this is the best time of opportunities, because this is why the New York Stock Exchange happens open. Right? So for indices, this for indices now, let's type that in so you can understand the process. For indices, this is the best time to look up opportunities from nine. So from nine, nine to um, from 9.30 to 12, New York time. So that's a morning session. The 12 New York time is for the morning session, All right? That's, um, that's 2 p.m. and during time, it's 2 p.m. That is two thirty to um, that is two thirty to five p.m. New York time. So five p.m. So five p.m. Nigerian time. So you have to know these things. So this time we look out for opportunities and indices. That's for the morning session. This is for morning session. Right. So, so what's it called morning session? It has what we call two sessions. Have morning session, right? So this is for morning. Then uh, that's for the morning. Then for the evening, you can look for opportunities from. Um, one one o'clock sorry from one o'clock um so we have a what we call new york lunch between 12 to 1 so we have 12 to 1 new york lunch just write this in the exam so you can know it so we have 12 to 1 have new york lunch so you don't want to be in during this time because the market is to be slow right then we'll have the evening session from what one um so around 1 30 or then about so for, for around 1 30 till 4 you can see another opportunity there so all this is as new york time right so this is New York time. So New York time is then the times you look out for opportunities on the indices. So if you know the two indices, it's very, very beneficial to you. Very, very beneficial to you. All right. So these are the time you need to look out for opportunities on the indices. So indices is between 9 times Nigerian time is 2 times Nigerian time to 5. So then you also have to convert this. This is from 6 o'clock to around um, 9. Right, so just look for opportunities for, for the evening session, right? So look at opportunities between that. So it's clear to do a NASDAQ indices between this time and wait for what this evening period, which is obvious. If you convert this, let me just convert that quickly for you. So you're talking about 6:30. So that is 6 30 and you don't time. We're talking about 6 30. 6 30 till around 9. So if I'm not mistaken. So that is basically when you look at opportunities on indices. This for Nigeria time. Right. So you have to always add five hours to convert. Right. So this time you look at opportunities on indices. So you no, know, remember, let me just recap. For USD pairs, this is the time when you look at opportunities between seven to ten. That's the better the opportunities between seven to ten. Right. Seven to ten. Right. And also the New York um, um Q zone can extend, right? You can trade even up to five. I think if it extends to the five o'clock, right? Note it must not end by three, right? The Q zone ends by three, but the session does not end by three, right? You can still see the market still move between three to five. So Ross knows that once we hit New York launch, it affects even currency pairs, it begins to slow down until we resume by one thirty. So the Q zone does not mean that you must trade only the next time. You can set it by four, you can trade by five, right? But the point is that the best time you see trading opportunities is between what this period. Right, we can still set us by four o'clock and five o'clock Nigerian time, which is what 11 and 12. Now, so you can always see this after this time, but this is the best time. Note the best time is only that you cannot see opportunities after I've taken three by four o'clock before, I've taken three after this time. But the best time to look at opportunities is what during this time period, right? So let's take a screenshot of this so you can have a, 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 a note of, of all this, right? So let's take this off. So now there's something you look out for in the New York session. So New York session, there are two things to expect. So you should expect two things in the New York session. You expect either a reversal or you expect a reversal 
for a continuation, right? So those are the two they expect in the near future. They expect a reversal or a continuation. So you can see a reversal or a continuation, right? So you can expect them in the near So you can expect a reversal and continuation. So reversal simply means that if the market was um maybe bullish during the London during New York, you can see what the reversal. That's what I mean. So you can accept it. Another market does this. The market reverses what during what the the New York period. And the market was bullish during London and Asia. You can see a reversal there, or the market will do this. The market will continue, meaning that the market can do something like this. Right? It can do something like this. Take a liquidity and then continue being bullish, like something like this. So this can happen during the, the New York session. So market can do something like this. Take a liquidity and then continue being bullish, right? So this also happens. This also happens. What can do this? Take out London liquidity and then run on it. So the things you expect during London session, uh, so during New York session, is either the market reverses or it takes a liquidity and then continues. So expect the market either do either do what? Take a liquidity and continue, or it reverses completely. Right? You have to look at the high time frame to understand what it wants to do. But especially it reverses especially when market has taken towards. Uh, previously higher area of liquidity. So the market either reverse or what it continues. So that's, that's what you expect. And the market does what the reverse so what it continues, right? So let's look at the chart and understand this thing better. All right, let's look at euro dollar yesterday. All right, the euro dollar, let's look at what happened yesterday during the New York season, right? So let's look at the New York. So New York yesterday was um, between, based on Thursday. So let's look at the New York season yesterday. New York season was between here. Yeah. Alright, so this is what, this is when New York began. Alright, this is when the key zone began. So around there, so let's look at from seven to from seven to. This is the key zone period. Right, so what happened there? Market was came down. Okay, let's look at New, um, New York open here. This is the New York open. This is the pre-New pre York session. So market was um, kind of bullish. Uh, during the New York open, the market kind of took a liquidity and then it was continued, right? But this is the type of what I was telling you guys. Yes. So it's very sure. Uh, here, I forgot something. You can also trade good. Good is also ideal during the New York session, right? Very important. I forgot to mention this good. So we have SAUUSD, which is good. Also trade during the New York session, right? Very important. It's a, it's a USD pair. So trade gold during the New York session. Gold. So you can trade gold during the, this period, right? So, so let's look at um, the previous day. This market was not really, really clear. It wasn't really give me a clear option. Let's look at one as a price action instead. All right, let's look at that. So you have to back test all this. So um, this was eight o'clock. Uh, this was seven, seven o'clock somewhere around there. So seven, this was the key zone period. Well, I like using eight o'clock, right? I like using eight o'clock. Right, let's look at it. That is when the market actually opens on, on New York. I like using it. O'clock. That is it. O'clock opens all around there. So, always mark it. O'clock as well. So, the keys are actually open by seven, but look out for it. O'clock. Open. So, what happened? The market was open by eight. This is what the New York key zone or the New York session. So, the New York session opens by eight o'clock New York time. So, what happened? The market ran with it and it was reversed down. So, you should expect kind of move in New York. If the market wants to continue during New York, it usually does take a liquidity and then was continues. If the market was bearish, right? If the market was overall bearish, it did was not around liquidity. Took out this this previous this high that was from before New York. So this was a London high, right? So London high. Market took a London high, then it was drop. So during a key zone, you start looking for opportunities. But the best time to see setups is from eight o'clock. So once it hits eight, that is when you usually see what the setup begins to form. So when it hit eight o'clock, which is what the New York open market it was a run liquidity and it was dropped. So that's where you usually see the liquidity run. Right. Once it hits New York open, wait for the market to give this kind of stuff. The market actually run liquidity by top block and then do what dropped. So this is basically what you do. All right. Let's look at this other day. Let's look at another day. Let's go and look at we look at only New York session, right? When we saw the New York session did right, very, very interesting. The same thing happened there. Here was a New York open. New York open was somewhere around there. Right, this is a New York open. What happened? 
the market around liquidity, the market was bullish, right? The market wanted to go higher. The market was going to give him bullish. What happened? The market was around liquidity. What happened next? But so the market always does this during the New York session. Very easy. Always accept the liquidity run and the continuation, or you will see a reversal. So I've not really seen a reversal here. Let me see if we can see a reversal. Maybe let's look at Tuesday, actually. I'll see a reversal here for Monday. This was Tuesday, sorry. This was Tuesday. Let's look at Monday action. You see there was a reversal here. Mm. This was the New York open. This was always marked the New York open. Always marked the New York open. So what happened here? The same thing happened there. What happened? Market was run liquidity. Remember? Can you see what I'm talking about? Market was run this liquidity down. Here. Can you see it? There was run bullish. Right? That's also expected during the New York action. Market should always take a longer liquidity and then run bullish. If it's bullish, if it's bearish, it's run bearish. So always understand the higher time frame structure and then you can use the lower time frame to look at what. This is around the pit and the confusion, right? So you can go to your channel for, for reversal, but right? I think in tomorrow call, we'll talk about indices in details, right? This is just for, for currency pairs. This thing happens on gold, it happens on silver, but I want you guys to look at, um, tomorrow we'll look at indices, right, in details, right? Today's just for currency pairs. This is what you say for currency pairs, either a reversal or a run the and a continuation, right? Always look at the overall trend, the higher time frame uh, POI, right? Look out for higher time frame structure, Look out for high time frame bias, send those three lower time frame like that. Go look out for high time frame and then expect this kind of stuff to occur, right? So have a wonderful day. Don't forget to use the link in the description to buy the profit blueprints. It will be launching on the 1st of November. The pre launch is on for 5000 And if you want to be part of that, do want to use the link in the description. So have a wonderful day. Shares and God bless.